It's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. It is your Ryan Report live on Cinco de Rayo. Cinco de Rayo. You have to do it with an accent or something. I ain't got to do it with no accent. Yeah, you do. I just did. <laughs> Cinco de Rayo. Cinco de Rayo. Dang it. <laughs> All right, uh, Heinz Ward. Yeah, man. Still in the running on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. But, you know, driving around in a Honda Civic with a lady at 2 o'clock in the morning is not a good idea when the lady has reported her car stolen. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the Honda Civic got stopped by LAPD when they noticed uh, they ran the tag and it said stolen. Sure. They ran the license plate and yes, it was reported stolen. They pulled Heinz Ward and the unknown young lady over and put them both in handcuffs. Then she explained that she thought her car had been stolen from the valet. Reported it stolen to the police, then it was recovered, but she forgot to do the one thing you should do, which is to call the police and tell them, I found my car. Never mind. They verified the story and eventually let both Hines and the driver leave without further incident. They said that Hines was very cooperative and understood the situation. And he even danced for them. Did he? Yeah. He did a little dancing for them? Please don't Sorry. arrest me. Please don't arrest me. That's called I'm shucking and jiving, Ryan. That's not called dancing. Have you seen what's been happening to entertainers in L.A.? <laughs> yeah, I have. Remember Rodney yeah, King? Remember T.I.? Yeah, he would have danced. Right. <laughs> Who knows? But Just you know what's saying. funny about this whole thing is TMZ is reporting, you know, Hines' wife is, people are, they're trying to reach out to Hines' wife. She's going to be upset. And I'm like, Hines, Hines is wife. not married. We know Hines' ex-wife. Yeah, Simone, the beautiful Simone Ward. But as far as a current wife. got to say her name. Maybe she don't want to be involved in all she, that. Oh, come on, man. Hey, go here. Just put me like, why she just can't be formal wife? I just said her full name. I know. Well, if you go to the Hawks game, you can hear her full name. We're going to be saying, Simone Ward, ex-wife of Hines. Who's that? Come on. All right, man. All right. Now her phone is ringing. You know they talking about you on the Ryan Report. Yeah, how much we love her. And that she was dancing. (laughs) Right. They said something that's about you. It was dancing. Yeah, something with the, Hines. Exactly. Go all the way out there. I'm about to text her. That, Simone, you were dancing. Right. <laughs> Simone, you were dancing. Outside the car, like, don't put my ex-husband in jail. <laughs> so we get You're all so screwed silly. up. So silly. All right. Oh. Um, they're talking about doing a Godfather prequel. To the Godfather? Yeah. Now, the one who wrote the original Godfather is like, he's worm food now for many, many years. For a long time. Yeah, he like bit the dust in 1999. Mm-hmm. But now they're saying they want to do a prequel to The Godfather. We've already had The Godfather's Return why? and The Godfather's Revenge. Right, why, why? Because they need the money. Leave, leave good well enough alone. Like just stop it. Stop it just because you're not creative. You just start stealing classics and redoing them. It's ridiculous. I think they just need to add a monster element to this thing and make it a lot better. Who would be in, the God, in this new prequel Godfather anyway? Add a monster element. What? Godzilla father. Okay. Now that'd be crazy. It's ridiculous. Who is that outside the door? <laughs> Who is that outside the door? <laughs> crazy. You're Godzilla idiot. father. How do you think of this stuff? When it happens, you heard it here first on oh, the Ryan my, that's, show. Uh, that's so sad. When that happens, it's officially it's the going death. To happen. It's the death of the movie industry. Okay, speaking of death, have you seen the pictures? What pictures? I tweeted it this morning. The pictures, some, you, you predicted that somebody would sell the pictures. For Bin Laden? Yeah. Yeah. It's not Bin Laden, but it's everybody else in the house. Yeah. You have you see, seen yeah, those I pictures? I have seen them. It's very bloody. Uh, it's a mess. Don't want to see the rest of them. That's what I'm saying. All you people that kept screaming, you have to see the pictures for evidence. Wow. You really want to see someone with a hole in their head? That's not an image you easily forget, people. Be careful what you ask for. Well, you're not going to see them anyway. I know you're not. But... Somebody sold them to the of course <laughs> to the UK. They said it was the Pakistanis. <laughs> they said it was the Pakistanis. So yeah, th- there are some pictures that are out there. Yeah, man. Uh, and last but not least, Katie Couric is uh, a cash cow, man. She does five years and makes a gazillion dollars. Of course, when she got on the news, they were number three. When she ended the news, they were number three. Right. So she just took the money and ran. Exactly. Now they're saying that uh, she and ABC Television are on the verge of a new deal, where she's going to be a talk show host. Since they killed off all the stories, she's going to come on when General Hospital came on. Guess how much money she's getting a year? How m- a year? Okay, a how much? year. How much? $20 million. A year? $20 million a That's year. That's Kobe Bryant money. $20 million a year. You know, Katie Couric is incredible to me because she keeps making, like over the past, like you said, five, six years, she's made a couple of bad decisions mm-hmm. and, and hasn't really been winning at anything she's been doing in the last five or six Except years. Except at the bank. Except at the bank. She keeps getting these lucrative deals. Right. I think people are so desperate to replace Oprah 
and to be that person that to replace Oprah that they're gonna you know try to do anything they can. There's not gonna be another Oprah. There's flat out there's not gonna be. And does Katie Couric have the personality to carry a daytime? You know, I mean, you gotta think soccer moms and stuff are at home during the day watching daytime television. Yeah. She's very serious. There's only one person that would have been close enough to replace Oprah. And she's got something else. She even has a different accent now. I hold in my hand one final picture. You started off, your pictures were bland, <laughs> and you became beautiful. But sometimes you need to show angles. Show your face. Don't look so stoic. Ryan Cameron, you're on your way to becoming America's Next Top Model. Wow. Tyra. That didn't go as planned. Does Tyra still have a show? Man, that, she, that's a cash cow. That thing come on every, we watched it last night. Right, but I'm saying she still has like new shows. Because you know, some night. of those are confusing, right? No, no, no. Some, sometimes you don't, you don't know if Maury Povich is still doing new no shows. No, no. You don't be knowing. L, I have in my hand one picture. Okay. You're on your way to becoming the next top stoic. Wow, I look like a man. You know what? And we want you to grow back your playoff beard for the Hawks game tomorrow yeah. and Sunday. Okay. So all this ideal image thing, just for one. All right, I'll start with the mustache, <laughs> the and mu we'll move from there. She got a mustache. Exactly. <laughs> we well are live, done. man, 955 West Marietta Boulevard. We are open, and we're about to raise up the drawbridge. What? The drawbridge. You, you make it sound like we're in a what castle. V-103.com to check out the video if you that want to see it live recorded. That is the worst sign language recorded. ever. Good God, man. That's why they kicked you out of the whole deaf school. <laughs> All right. She's not the best lip syncer. I know. It's okay. Tell them who said. Yeah. Hey, Steve, man. Happy one-year anniversary at Coors. I heard you're having a big party. What's going at on, At a place I'm never going, but I love the fact that you're doing your thing. What up, Steve-O? Where's the Peroni? All right. That's saying. That's we good. want some beer, That's Steve. his favorite thing to say, I got you. Yeah. No problem, I got, I got you. you, I got your back. Do you bring some NERD tickets? That's right. my boy, boy, Look that's what Steve. I'm talking about. You're going to make it big. Right. V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know.